Adnan Farooq here, guys. AdnanFarooq.com, and uh, we are about to go live with uh, the amazing Amna Farooqi, uh, as promised. Well, there was a delay in the schedule. The schedule date was 20th, and I'm sorry that it was delayed, but we will make sure that we uh, make up for the uh, delay. You guys, the content we are providing, that is going to be really, really awesome, and that's my hope. Uh, so, the topic is something that is, um, you know, it's on everybody's mind, including myself. So, uh, the the host that I'm going to just invite right now, as we go along, um, she is going to uh, guide us through with uh, how to um, manage stress. So, please bear with me, just I call them, and then we can get started off. So guys, once again, Adnan Farooq here, adnanfarooq.com, and today's topic, the live session is really interesting. It is about how to manage stress in times of COVID, lockdown ki situation hai, and everybody's, in, you know, it's, it's really difficult, you know, and so what do we do? Uh, how do we manage stress? And we're going to learn from Amna Farooqi, who's just going to be joining us in a bit, and she's going to walk us through ke hume kya kya, uh, kya kya tarike hai stress ko manage karne ke liye. So, as we go along, I'm just making sure that she is coming on live with us. So please bear with me. Yeah. Stress, it's COVID or not, it's something that you know plagues. Uh, I think this is uh, the problem of uh, the new age. It's everywhere. It's lockdown or not. Oh, there you are. Hello. Uh, hi, hi, Amna. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I hope you can see me properly. Yes, absolutely. And I envy you. You are uh, all the way in London. So we really couldn't complain. Uh, it's been uh, the past couple of days have been really nice. So yes, otherwise heard it's raining and all. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, 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 my, the audience, uh, you know, um, I was just about to introduce you, but, and, but I think you will uh, please uh, take the time to introduce yourself as well. Um, Did I join you too soon? <laughs> no, no, not at all, because I, I, I think we uh, were uh, stress ki baat karna shuru hi hoye the. In uh, lockdown, ke andar, you know, it's, it's such a challenge uh, trying to stay sane. You know, that's the word that comes to mind. Yes. To stay sane uh, amidst lockdown. It's been, it's been a while now. So, uh, you know, uh, and just so that uh, the audience knows uh, who we're talking to, uh, Amna is somebody, uh, guys, that, um, you know, apart from being a fantastic yogi, which, you know, the moves I've got to learn from her, personally. But uh, other than that, I see, uh, you know, somebody who's evolved and, uh, uh, you know, over the years, because, you know, we go back a long way. And um, yes. Yes. Uh, the, the transformation, I can feel, you know, I can see, and I can feel as well. So uh, I think it's important for somebody who has, uh, you know, uh, has experienced it firsthand. I think that makes Hi. a big difference. So, uh, Amna, please, uh, up introduce Karen, apne aapko ke, you know, about your journey and how, how all of this came about, please. I think I'll give a quick, um, I, I like the fact that you've asked me not to tell me ke main kya karti hun, but to give my journey, which I think is very important. And of course, we go a long way. We, I remember seeing you when I started. Um, this was probably in the late 90s that you know gym or workout and yeah. swimming and and eating as little as possible was uh, what we used to believe in yeah that was the and, mantra uh, of the day yeah that's how we began <laughs> and then yeah the journey was fabulous because uh, you know we learned a, a, along the way and there were injuries and there were illnesses and there <laughs> were other things and uh, stress i think that's a big one for everybody so, and the mm. reason why I said this is what we're going to talk about today, because I think that is ongoing in life. And one yeah. realizes that if you are, we are going to be here for as long as we're here, 
uh, or as little the time, whatever time we have here, we should live um, live well and live stress free. I think that's something that uh, manifests so many other physical ailments uh, as well. So um, mm. yes, uh, so that's been my journey. Uh, it started from the physical, you know, being wanting to be strong, wanting to be fit. and wanted yeah. to do just everything that was available whether it was running or spinning or gymming or whatever and then yoga came along and then uh, mm-hmm. the journey of yoga also was a long one and i think uh, something very interesting that someone once said that what is that one move of yoga that you would if you had to say okay do this move what would that be so i would say breathe so i think that is ah. actually fabulous and i think yeah. um, the the times that i've had the most amazing physical jisko asana practice kehte hain yoga mein is has mm. been when my breath has been in sync with my movement which is also called vinyasa uh ke aap ko aapki puri lagta hai ki jab aap ek workout kar rahe hain aap ek meditate kar rahe hain you are just moving it's a moving meditation you are in another zone Uh, right um you know i i'm i'm sorry to cut you you'll you'll hear a lot of that from me during this interview because i you know i patience is something that i have to work on <laughs> so but <laughs> we all do, we all do. yeah not letting you finish but i'm kind of excited because you know a, a lot of us start off with our journeys uh, with uh, you know going to the gym and eating right and that's how you started off yes um j- just tell us what prompted you i mean how what was that turning point because gym to sare jaate hain aur you know uh, you know we're mostly physically active acha bhi khate hain kabhi off hote kabhi on hote but then i believe that the journey you're on is not it's not something that is seasonal correct me if i'm wrong Yeah, it's something absolutely. that that's a part of you so it's uh, i mean it's it's yeah so how does it how yeah how did it transform from going you know to the gym person and all the diet etc and then moving on to you know this this path of yours a spiritual path um it's very interesting you saying that because um i think abhi bhi you know we learn till we we live we uh, we learn uh, every day so for me it was always um more is less you know that used to be what happened when we were younger the more right. we exercise the less it was you know okay i'm not well spent yet i need to run another mile i need to do spinning every day and i did by the way we i did spinning classes every single day and we did weights and every all of that but there was you know you feel that your body there was lots of injuries um and then you don't pay much much attention to that when you're younger uh there's there's too much ego that's there and you you just keep going but i think for me um it it always was something that 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 was pulling me towards you know right probing more into it it cannot just be mm. a physical thing exercise can never be just something that you you mm. go to the gym you work out it has to be what i eat it has to be how i live how i sleep how i think that also is right. very very important you know um maybe we'll go I, I, i'll wander off so you'll have to keep bringing me back yeah. there's so that, many that, that, yeah like you said i get excited <laughs> when we're talking because we've been <laughs> Because yeah i know i know exactly what you mean <laughs> yeah you know and you know this is uh, so true uh, and i'd like everybody to understand what uh, where amna is coming from because you know i you know i got um, you know my uh, background is i mean i don't consider myself to be a spiritual person but i have my own uh, form of meditation so to speak you know and i do that uh, as frequently as i can which is about 5 days a week um and i thought you know That's going to the gym you know and going to the gym you know uh, you know biceps and you know getting in shape that was all that was needed 
Yeah. Uh, up until the point where, you know, I hit a tragedy in my life and I lost my sister. And that's the point where I started, you know, I developed, uh, uh, you know, I didn't know what was happening to me. And, you know, back then, I didn't know anxiety was happening. So, and then, you know, obviously, you know, because you're, you're getting short of, uh, you know, short of breath and it feels like, you know, the whole world is caving in on you, you know, all that, that, that feeling, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so I thought to myself, wait a minute, you know, I thought going to the gym was the only thing that was required, mm-hmm. but there seems to be something terribly missing. You know, mm-hmm. I've got the body, but I don't have the mind to sort of, you know, match it. Uh, <laughs> That's it. There you go. That's the word. So I thought, wait a minute, something is missing. And that's, you know, that's where I began to figure out how can I, you know, uh, uh, physical fitness to me is good, but mentally I'm not fit. You know, so uh, please, uh, uh, you know, uh, shed some light on, on the fact that, you know, all of us going to the gym, you know, trying to take care of our diets, trying to lose weight. What do you say about that? So um, I would say that it's, it, it can never, firstly, I love listening to all your vlogs. And the reason is that every time anyone who says uh, this is the way to lose weight, uh, I wouldn't be interested unless they say you get healthy mm-hmm. and your weight will follow. Because being obsessive about weight loss, I think uh, is something that it took me maybe 15 years to fix that. What I had, um, you know, because you kill your metabolism, uh, you can't sleep properly, you can't think properly. And just like you said about anxiety, you know, we all go through things in life that, uh, you know, make it hard for us to uh, live a stress-free life. And I remember someone said, you know, you take something for anxiety and I'm, I'm not a pro allopathy person unfortunately Bill person unfortunately, yeah fortunately, fortunately definitely yeah, <laughs> makes the two of us <laughs> yeah so i said i would not take anything that uh, with all due respect to people who believe in it but um anything mm-hmm. that's going to make me numb and make me feel like uh, a zombie I-, I won't do it whether it's recreational mm-hmm. or whether it's medicinal i wouldn't do it right. so i i would like to have the full experience and i would like to do things in a way that you know my they come naturally that my body copes with it i don't force my body to cope with things it it moves naturally so even with weight loss it was always i remember having these conversations with you and i think that's probably 99% of people who say that my weight plateaus you know it goes mm. there and it plateaus well now fortunately i totally do not obsess with weight at all i obsess with the way i feel you know how i'm feeling if i'm feeling well if i'm feeling good i mm. can run a mile i can do everything i can i feel happy for me a great workout would be that after the workout or my exercise or yoga whatever i'm doing i want to run a mile after that i'm not tired you know right so right. i always and that's because i'm feeling amazing and you know so i think that is something that we need to all figure out that you know what is that one thing so i think unless and until you don't take the mind along you know you, you mm. work out your body but take your mind along don't mm. leave it interesting uh, interesting you know? or you know uh, and you know this is something that uh, you know i i find um, uh, in the gym because you know we've Our, our beginnings are, are from the gym. हम बचपन से करते आ रहे हैं वर्कआउट और माइंडलेस एक्सरसाइज कर रहे हैं ठीक है यू नो वी वी डोंट नो यू नो टाइम देख के कर रहे हैं कि घंटा पूरा होएगा तो वर्कआउट होएगा उसके अंदर कितना कॉन्सेंट्रेट कर रहे हैं यू नो सो आई थिंक अ लॉट ऑफ दिस हैज टू डू विद आई डोंट नो दिस काइंड ऑफ अ स्विच दैट गोज यू नो लाइक यू फ्लिप अ स्विच and you start to realize ki you know what mai workout to kar raha hu lekin kaam abhi nahi ban raha because mm-hmm. you know if you if you if you notice jab aap workout bhi uh, agar kar rahe ho usme agar mind ka element nahi hai if you're not mindful if you're not present in the moment that mm-hmm. kind of spills into uh, other areas of your life where you are you know where you are either living in the past 
or living in the the future and we constantly Absolutely. have to work on it you know Absolutely. and it's, it's you know it's you know you're so right when you say ke dimag ka jagah pe hazir hona kitna zaruri hai how to be you know present in that thing now amna ye ye bataye ke what what is your definition of stress management i think this is really critical because uh, you know i'll get to a point why i've i've you know have this question uh, in in the list of the question that i'm asking you how do you understand stress management what does it mean to you i i think for me if you ask me what is stress i would how i would define it is that there is yeah. an overload of too many things that we have to do or manage right right or you know i think that in nowadays is stress that i have to do this right. i have to do that so you what do you do you start organizing your thoughts you start organizing your diary you start writing down things right how does your body deal with that you know you you're so if you ask me one simple thing again i'll go back to that that to manage stress i would manage my breath you right know? so i think that's the first thing that i would do is how is my breath and how do i you know how am i breathing how is my body feeling and if you notice that the minute you start to sit you know you sit down or even if you're standing you breathe ekdam se without anything changing things start looking a little sorted you, you start wow. making sense of things you know it's that you got to teach me that that <laughs> i don't know i, I have a confession i would <laughs> yeah. love to <laughs> you know so it's it's if it wasn't for yoga i would be the same and i was wow. and and, wow. and i think that exercising um you know there was a time that i would say i need to pick up more weight i need to pick up more weight and yeah. was, and then you realize mm. that even sometimes picking up no weight but using your breath using your mind your breath and your own body weight you can achieve so much and and wow. that's the beauty of yoga i have to tell you i think it's it's actually it makes me feel stronger than i've ever felt before yeah you know uh, it's interesting because uh, this was about uh, i think 8 years ago uh, where uh, so i had an encounter with a, with a yogi and you know i was least bit interested us waqt no mera studio tha um and uh, and so she said why don't you come in for a session as like you know what that's not for me it's not my cup of tea and anyway so i went inside yeah because you know i was always the the gym buff and high intensity workouts and all that stuff to usne mujhe kaha ke tumne ek session mere sath karo to maine uske sath baith gaya and and literally though my first session i i still cannot uh, i will never be able to forget that because i said uh, okay let's get started you know i'm so i'm all excited maine kaha chalo koi moves going the postures going you know you know like yeah and she said uh, bad job sirf chonkdi mar ke bad job so i'm i'm looking at the i'm looking at the clock and i'm okay ek minute guzar gaya so i'm you know i'm restless i'm fidgety you know i'm doing this and it's like and i said when do we start she said well it is already started i want you to sit without moving without fidgeting just sit for me for 5 minutes and i kid you not that was the probably hardest, the most difficult the hardest thing to do <laughs> yeah so you know i can i can understand what what you what, you know where you're coming from and you know back to the question amna ki jo stress management ki jo hum baat kar rahe the you know the reason why i mentioned this is because for a lot of people they think somehow stress management is uh, synonymous to being stress free you yeah. know and <clears throat> and i've and i've encountered that a lot i just read something uh, sadia sajad says completely agree conscious breathing is critical yeah. for stress relief so yeah conscious yeah. we are always breathing but are we conscious of our breath yeah there it's you go there breath. you go i agree yeah <laughs> so um you know uh, and we need to clarify uh, to uh, the audience and uh, and you know i you know after a long long time mujhe ye pata laga ke stress management ka matlab ye nahi hota ki zindagi mein koi stress hi nahi hai it's just that um it's day to day management because as you get you know just na apne uh, you uh, you know mentioned a state of overwhelm that you know you have too many things to do 
and you you feel like you're spread too thin you're going in different directions yeah. so how do you manage that and how do you keep that at bay correct me if i'm if i'm right that's what stress absolutely. management means absolutely yeah? and i think and I, to be honest that's always been a thing for me because i've always been a multitasker kind of a person um which seems sounds very cool that i like to multitask but it's not cool because you get tired mm. just thinking about it and you know you you can do it and you manage things however but i i don't think that it is the best way to be um because organizing yourself organizing your breath organizing your thoughts is crucial and it's key to you know living mindfully because i think so now um interesting last year before the lockdown i was teaching yoga to actually not yoga only or we didn't call it yoga we were teaching mindfulness um to um kids here who were doing their gcse exams so i was uh, basically you know commissioned to teach uh, at various schools where there were these children who were at a very you know crucial part uh, of their studies and their lives and of course when you're teenagers anyways your mind is all over the place and everything's the end of the world i remember when i was growing up i used to think everything's the end of the world it's really amazing how one changes and um, and just like you said that sitting for a minute it seems like the clock's just not moving you know i'm i'm sitting here and i'm still sitting here and i'm still sitting here so um mm. i think the best i we had this conversation that the best meditation i had was when i was um we were doing this yoga training and we used to uh do a 90 minute uh dynamic yoga class in the morning and then a dynamic 90 minutes before we ended in the evening which was like 7 pm so that would end at 9 pm and by that time when it ends you'd rather be dead you know you'd feel like my body is not here anymore i can't so you it's, it's it feels like your body is separated from your yourself wow uh, and that's actually and i realize that's what this when this is levitating in yoga because you're so tired that you're sitting to meditate after that 90 minute evening session and a long day of study and whatever and i actually remember seeing myself sitting and i think that's what it means that you're you use your body in such a beautiful way combining your breath and your exercise you um you can actually separate and you know beautifully jaise kehte hain ki you know when you have to knit something aap pehle sare threads alag hai fir aap unko khoobsurti se you put them together beautifully you know so um we'll come to questions soon i think there's some people yeah. that are asking for yeah uh, we can we can we can answer all the questions uh, right at the end okay awesome. we'll we'll do that yes yes so, um, um so yeah please continue so basically you know what i'm saying is that the best way to sit uh, is to make an intention when you make an intention and of course like you said sitting for a minute was too much uh, you never start with sitting for too long you can start with sitting for 5 minutes and uh, right. another thing that i learned was that some days your mind may not be 100% you may you know and i i still do that that we sit and meditate for an hour there are days that the whole hour is tiring wow. because your mind keeps going away and you keep bringing Wondering. it back it's like mm. you keep bringing it back you keep bringing it back and then there are days that you don't realize where the hour went it feels like mm. this so uh, it's again it's a it's a discipline and it's a discipline that is i uh, i think the most precious thing that i've learned and to be honest even though i've been doing yoga for so many years um the idea of seated meditation when i say seated it actually means that sitting in a place for a long time without moving thinking or opening your eyes or engaging in anything else other than just meditating and that means breathe for me meditation means 
staying with your breath you know okay and and you you're going to you're going to you're going to walk us through you're going to give us a uh, like a short demo i of yeah. course i would love that because you know uh, a lot of time people ask me to quickly tell us how do we huh. how do we meditate quickly tell me you know so right. i always say there there are a few very sweet routines that i uh, always share with children also because i think that you know they have uh, the least patience and they they just yeah. don't don't have that kind of attention span so the first one is of course sit down and just observe your breath you know inhaling exhaling inhaling exhaling and also when you're sitting imagine as if your spine is like a straw and your breath is moving up and down and as long if your straw is not straight the breath will not move properly so that wow. is that that is something that i find to be very simple very basic but it makes sense to everybody and it works so okay um, so well, i'm sorry uh, so what i'm going to and uh, with your permission of course ke aap jo as we you know reach towards the end of the session for a few maybe uh, whatever minute or two aap thoda sa me guide kare you know and we can all do it together right i would so, love that i would love brilliant that. ओके मूविंग फॉरवर्ड आमना ये बताओ कि यू नो लॉकडाउन की सिचुएशन है बाहर जा नहीं सकते यू नो वर ऑल इनडोर्स आई मीन हाउ डज यू नो एक तो आपने ब्रेथ वर्क का बताया यू नो एंड दैट यू नो यू यूल बी यू नो वी फील आई फील वेरी फॉर्चुनेट दैट यू गन गाइड एस थ्रू एंड गिव एस यू नो प्राइम बट अदर देन दैट what can be a you know practical take away for people uh, and for for uh, for myself ke uh, just na uh, schedule you know there's something i read up on uh, you know stress during uh, stress management during lockdown situation that you know one should have uh, some rituals or some kind of schedule uh, how does one stay sane um so i think that um especially when the lockdown began here in london uh, i was in pakistan for quite i was very fortunate to have spent time with family there um because um and trust me when the lockdown happened here last year um for months and months we didn't see a soul so it was a proper lockdown you wouldn't see anybody so um i remember that the first thought that came to my mind and what um you know i was again it's also very it's a good idea to be with people who are positive and who are who always have a positive um, suggestion you know uh, or an a p- positive answer for you i mean your friends um mm. family to hey but i think it's very important to have people around you that give you that kind of positive support um because there was so much anxiety and uh, uncertainty and especially we live in a time where we are we think we believe we are in control of everything everything happens the way we want it to happen so i think actually mm. this is a good one for all of us that that's not the way it works but you right. know the idea of yoga and meditation is that you know managing stress in a stress free situation is doesn't mean anything but actually understanding that how do we one stays calm in all situations you know to be and that's what we say when we do yoga that the kind of zen that we feel while we're on the mat we keep that while we're off the mat which of course is uh, easier said than done but right to, so the only way one can do is to keep consciously coming back to it you have to keep reminding yourself so how does one do that if you have an erratic mm. routine every day it's hard right so if you mm. have especially i think to be honest this lockdown is a very good opportunity to discipline ourselves and that's exactly what i i did when i was uh, when this happened here uh, you know my daughters were working and then they suddenly were like we still want to go out and you know everyone has this and i was so upset that you know they're going to get unwell and what what do i do and mm. i was fortunate enough that my friends were 
my wisdom uh, you know besties they said that uh, so what you can't control that you just have to keep yourself you know in a place of um, kind of uh, you know grounded your own stress or grounded yeah so, yeah and and luckily we me and my yogi friends we have a great network of some yoga teachers here who um, you know we start sitting to meditate every morning at 7 am and that it just became my life you know that i would sleep at 10 even though there was no work in the morning nobody's going to school nothing's happening in the morning no one's running off anything mm. mm. i found that actually to be the best thing that happened to us to be honest because there i was at 7 am running getting ready doing stuff and now i had mm. the privilege to actually sit for 1 hour and meditate now now interesting i i think uh, you know for 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 somebody and i'm sure the audience is 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 like you know uh you know cuz you're already there you had done your mental homework and that's why when when this lockdown situation hit you you were you were already prepared now for somebody who, and you know and this is the unfortunately the vast majority of us okay we have our minds racing all over the place and suddenly we are in a fix kahin ja nahi sakte kisi ko mil nahi sakte there's you know news which is actually bad news i call it not news but bad news mm. so how does if somebody who's a beginner who hasn't done the work who hasn't done the breathing part unke liye aap ki kya you know what are, what are your you know please guide us for for somebody who so, has absolutely no idea first of all i am someone who's absolutely anti listening to the news like that um because i really feel that um you know <coughs> if if you're if something is not going to help you yes it's a good idea to know what's going on um right obsessively listening to you know these news about uh this is happening there and you know b- you hear bad news only on the news so mm. i i'm not a believer of that and other than that i believe that unless and until your own foundation your inside is not sorted you won't be able to mm. deal with the outside in a right. good way so i think That's whatever's happening well outside said. is is you know it has to be dealt with but let's deal with <clears> it <throat> first you know what is happening mm. here if i have to go and you know someone says that there's a competition and you have to lift so much weight i'm speaking your language adnan so i'm not <laughs> going to just you know say okay let me watch a video and let me see how it's done i'm going to work on myself mm. i'm going to strengthen myself i'm going to make sure yeah. i learn how to you know bring myself to that point where i can deal with and go and play that game right so i think that um it's possible for anybody and to be honest nobody was prepared for it i think none of us was prepared mm. for this. um so for me also to, you know to sit for an hour to meditate and we thought okay let's do it for a few days and then you know you slowly realize that this is hey you know what this is a great opportunity i am not running outside i i don't have to quickly grab something to eat i have the time mm-hmm. to actually prep my food i love cooking from scratch i love to prepare fresh food again that's a big one um we have to slot things because these are all super important and they yeah. they passionate about yeah. all of them you know that <laughs> yeah i think you just said the magic word mai mai we mai we soch raha tha ke you know uh, for 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 in these kinds of situations you use the word slots so i think what i can sense from what you're saying is ke you've designated time for all that you have to do in in, in your daily routine Yeah. and i think that is one way in which one can stay sane because otherwise if you're just going on autopilot i think there's this there's too much of um, uh, social media there's there's too much of you know scrolling people putting up uh, you know all their hunky dory pictures ki hum ye hain wo hai you know how social media it's is and mindless. you're it's all yeah, yeah on the surface mindless on the surface wo dekh rahe hain और ऑटो पायलट पे चल रहे हैं कोई रूटीन नहीं है 
And so it gets monotonous and then, you know, and then there's, uh, you know, whatever, uh, you know, everything starts to sort of overwhelm the word you used. So I think it, you know, at least maybe your understanding here can, what I can understand from you is, okay, have slots of what you have to do. Just now, you cooking ki baat ki and then, you know, then you have your, your, your breath work and I'm sure there are other stuff that you have to do, but you have, you know, those, um, those slots, those, you know, the schedule, so to speak. Yeah, absolutely. Hi, Sabah, you rock as well. My yogi friends there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I agree, yeah. Adnan, absolutely. And I really think, um, and I, I would actually, my one message to everybody who is under a lockdown in Pakistan, and I've been told that the lockdown is, uh, you know, they're putting stricter. Yeah, it's stricter intensified. Lockdown. Yeah. Yes, they've closed things again. So, uh, you know, when people say, Ke, you know, don't be scared or whatever, of course, you know, do what you have to do. But I really would say this is an opportunity to actually make changes, for, you know, around your routine. Mm. Take mm. care of yourself. You know, self-care is the most important. I think what mm. this lockdown meant for me was that hey, that's amazing that I don't have to run up and down the city mindlessly. I can do yoga mm. at home. I don't have to be running out somewhere. I thought that was yeah. fabulous. You know, why do I have to do that? And then there, again, lots of people, you know, lots of energies that you engage with. Some you don't even know. You are still engaging with energies. And that's taking away right. something from you. So I really think this is a golden time for all of us actually to focus on ourselves, strengthen our inner self so that, you know, when we are, inshallah, out of this lockdown, I think we'll, we'll be fabulous. We'll work things. Of course, our friends are there. They're still here. They're not going anywhere. The good mm. ones, at least. I have some fabulous <laughs> ones. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I yeah. mean, it's, it's all going to be there. I think if we take it as an opportunity that life has given us, to actually con take control of our lives, take control right. of that, which we had given to these outside, uh, you know, everything was like, like you were saying, that things are that, that are happening outside. Everything mm. was, you know, very external. Um, so I really think that this is, this is actually a good time to do this, to restart. And and I think that you know you've mentioned a really interesting word you've used self care and I please would you just talk a little bit about that because uh, I think uh, in our society I think for the most of us we are in a state of giving and we because this is you know you know obviously it's a responsibility to others like family but uh, parents spouse etc and in in doing so we tend to forget ourselves uh, and we tend to forget our own needs. And, and for a lot of people, uh, we still think, hey, agar, you know, if I prioritize self-care, I'm being selfish. Yes. What do you, what do you say to that? <laughs> I've heard my mother complain all her life when I used to go to uh, Shapes, I remember, and my sister was getting married. And she said, here the whole world's working and you're in the swimming pool. Forever. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so everyone, because I felt that by that time that I took out to take care of myself, I managed to do so much more. I had so much more mm. energy, not just physically, mind you. I really yeah. feel that for me, that exercise or workout, yoga, running, walking, whatever you're doing is important because I feel good here. And when I feel mm. good here, then I can actually yeah. be a lot more productive. I can do a lot more, you know, whether it's you know, I, work or whatever. Um, you know, I, I, re I read somewhere, uh, you know, the, the self-care, you know, this, this notion of self-care that, you know, it's like, uh, like you have a, you know, credit in your bank. So every time you go to the ATM and you have money there, uh, so you're, you're drawing money and that is synonymous to you taking care of yourself. If there are too many withdrawals, 
as in too many people drawing checks on you or aapko you're in a state of giving to aapka aista aista account khali hona shuru ho jata hai absolutely so you know ek ek point aata hai ki aapke you know you you're not receiving anything and you're just constantly giving now there comes a point ki aap atm pe jate hain aur aap you know you and it's happened to the best of us kuch bhi nahi hai wahan pe and this is what predominantly is happening you cannot give another beggar anything you know If brilliant you, yeah there you go you are a beggar what will you give someone else aapke paas kuch hai hi nahi hai nahi i think self care is you know actually mm, well said you know making sure that i conserve what i have and you know mm. unless and until i don't do that and the beauty of this you know uh, yoga why i call it yoga even if it's self care or even if it's breathing even if it's walking by the way I think anything that is done mindfully is yoga. They say I read somewhere something that was so beautiful, uh, and I've seen my father do this. Who started cooking quite recently? He never used to cook anything, and he actually cooks as if he's putting his heart and soul in it. He does it with all his concentration, and he loves it. So they say that whatever you do, if you do yoga, be yoga. So if you're cleaning. Right. you actually do it as if this is the aim of my life i have to mm. do it with all my heart and soul in you know and that's yoga so you know wow. when people talk about yoga they actually think that it's some postures that are that's called yoga that's, mm. that's not what it actually means it it means whatever you do I, for me it means do it with all your heart and soul in it that's that for me is yoga Okay so interesting um now before uh, you teach us the breath work which i'm really excited about maine seekhna wo and i'll call on you maybe at later dates as well cuz you know the yes. way you explain it is i think i desperately need that you know um uh, how do how does one you know take care of the you know i call it the reptilian brain you know the monkey brain jumping yes. from one place to the other and i and i and i you know i hear you when you talk about breath work and connecting but like rukta hi nahi it's called you call nahi. it the monkey brain in yoga they yeah. call it the monkey yeah, brain yeah yes exactly how and you know please uh, abhi to aap breath work to karayenge na usse pehle aap thoda sa is guide kare ki isko kaise because i think uh, one of the one of the reasons why uh, we are uh, you know we get anxious is because we cannot control this racing uh, mind of ours you know they say what, what would you say runs, to that they say your mind runs 17 channels at one time uh imagine that if you were listening to seven, 17 channels on the radio or tv all together how long can you watch that for can you imagine wow you would be exhausted makes so much sense yeah so i mean you are sitting here getting tired doing nothing and your brain is just you know making sure that it's running you down and your monkey brain um mm. so i think if you i mean to simplify it all there there are many ways um you know a lot of people say how do you sleep you know mm. insomnia has become so common uh with you know all of us especially youngsters and i think other than our brain already running 17 channels we bring in a gadget to show us more you yeah. know external stuff to make sure that we uh, if there is any sanity we lose that as well so um, or uh, yeah i mean it's an interesting because you know social media and you know i i'm everybody is projecting a part of their lives which is so not true it's so not happening they have this depiction of the this perfect you know this uh, rainbows and butterflies kind of a thing who are we doing and uh, what is it for yeah, why literally acha jinhone karna hai hum na wo to kar rahe hain lekin jo dekhne wale hain na wo bhi jante bhi hain ye cheez wo jante hain ki ye you know this is a fragment of somebody's life Yes, but then they take it for reality, and they start, you know, subconsciously they start comparing. And I've and I have 
observed it mere sath khud bhi hua hua hai ki main you know and then i started to wise up i was like you know what the hell am i doing because that's not reality you know no absolutely and not it's... and and i think i love i love uh, there, there is a little thing that i would love to mention here that there was a friend of mine who was who was my a neighbor and a friend as well and you know would see me running in and out all the time you know running errands picking up my kids from school teaching my classes in between uh in my track pants all the time with oil in my hair and then i had this new year's party at my house and everyone's like you know all dressed up and he comes over and says oh my god isn't she looking amazing isn't she looking and i said can you stop what are you what do you mean i mean she doesn't look like this all the time <laughs> so you know i said thank and i would do it with pride that this is you know my day to day routine i don't have to live it for someone else this is for me this is a life that i mm. live first for myself it's you know i need to honor my body my soul uh and only then my life will honor me back or or you know i have to make sure that this life is worthwhile for me and if it's worthwhile for me it will mm. be worthwhile for someone else who's connected to me so mm. anyone else you know uh, getting inspired is a good thing that if you see something i i think taking inspiration uh, and thinking ki oh yaar kamal hai iske instagram pe dekho isne i that's what i do someone post something that you know they're doing some new uh, hack healthy hack i would say oh, i'm going to try this i always save them you know that that's for me mm. or a good recipe i would save it but yeah i i mean great bless them uh, if they are living a good life but i i would not get uh, to attach to that <laughs> uh, i think okay brilliant um okay so i think uh, I th- the, we uh, are kind of uh, you know running out of time and i think uh, jo jo best part hai, you know saving uh, the best for last so uh, please uh, guide us through you know the the breath work that you we've been talking about how does that work and i i think we all of us need uh, you know desperately need that please i will i will definitely guide you through um someone asked a question that how do you manage stress with um, it was a good one for someone who doesn't meditate what other ways can you tackle emotional mental and physical stress okay so, yep. so one thing is that you know a lot of people i find um including myself at times that they say you know they find it hard to commit to meditation they think that meditation means that i just have to sit very straight for hours and just think of nothing so a very simple thing i would say is that when you're sitting and you're breathing imagine as if you've put your breath in a swing or a cradle and you just inhale exhale inhale exhale you know when you're on a swing you're swing goes up and down the, exactly the same uh, you know the momentum is such that it moves in the same timing so exactly the same way our inhale and exhale if you start measuring it as if you put it in a cradle just do that that is enough that's meditation meditation does not have to be you know a punishment it's not that you have to <laughs> sit uh, shave your head and sit in a corner <laughs> look at a wall and uh, no bad thoughts and i am holy i am yeah. good and i i i've managed it i've harnessed it all no that's not meditation so mm. i think that that simple and um, so do you want to yeah i well uh, you know talking about questions ek aur tha uh, i've forgotten the names the ladies asked uh, how do you find uh, the the patience to just sit you can lie down if you don't if you find it hard to sit in the beginning you can lie down uh it's interesting because um i remember once uh, i was teaching a yoga class and there was there were about 25 people all you know everyone loves shavasana when you're lying down and you're just like okay yoga is finished now we're going to lie down in shavasana and we're going to meditate or just relax right and this lady just got up and she just sat up as if she was she had like she was 
she had some electric current in her she says what do you mean relax <laughs> <laughs> How do you relax? How do I relax? She was. Practicing. I can't relax. <laughs> it was funny the way she just sat up as if there's some someone's electrocuted her. I said, "What do you mean relax? How do I relax?" And uh, yeah. So I mean, I think um, there is another. I I would like to give little little tips. We will do the breathing, but little tips that I find that. you know sometimes you can actually lie in bed imagine your breath in a cradle you know and now you have to do this and then you have to tell me you must share notes and all the rest yeah i'm 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 please, making mental notes i'm I, thinking yeah <laughs> please make notes if everyone who is whoever is here and listening um it's it's a you know these little little things and then also mm. a beautiful one that i love uh, that my sufi teacher has taught us and it is my favorite line it's in persian and it says hosh dardam nazar bar kadam and in sufism they believe that any every breath that goes without uh, you know every breath that you take without being aware of it is a sin now that's a very deep conversation but you know every breath that goes without mindfulness could mean without gratitude it could mean thoughts on uh, you know are uh, conscious of your thoughts it wow. could mean conscious of your uh, actions and of course they all mm. are you know they all are related to each other mm. so and there's a practice that we do in our uh, you know in our silsila is it's a beautiful one that you walk bare feet and you you know we go through a at least a one day of quiet meditation which is that rather than talking what do you do i mean sitting and staring at a wall is not fun but what mm. i find to be extremely meditative is that you take your shoes off you walk on the grass and you actually just breathe and you take in that energy from nature so what's interesting is that if you don't have a garden you know if I, i'm lucky now that i have finally have a garden which is a big big deal in london if you don't have a garden mm. put a plant in front of you and look at it while you meditate with your eyes open you're breathing you don't have to close your eyes you could put a candle and look at the flame and breathe and just interesting keep looking at you know so it basically stills your mind so nature is a big one put a vase of flower you know one flower or a few flowers as uh, you know as as you talk uh, as you talking about this uh, you know i can i can i can sense my wife saying hey, just look at me i'm the, i'm nature <laughs> why not why not why not yeah <laughs> well, as long as you're still still <laughs> well i dot 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 <laughs> just, i hope she's not listening to this one <laughs> no, I, I yeah yeah okay so uh, so one one last question was uh, can food help with stress oh yes oh yes i you know food is a big one for me i i i uh, i will go over time if i just start talking about yeah. food uh but um yes just quick tips a big one so you know you were saying during the lockdown you had asked me what to eat and how to yeah. what your diet must be like so i think one uh, big one is keeping yourself hydrated and something that a naturopath shared with me recently which i absolutely love and because no matter how much water i have uh, especially nowadays we are all fasting even if you're not uh, you know drinking water and you still still feeling thirsty so if you squeeze a juice of one lime or lemons i believe they have limes in pakistan also i just put a plant in mm. for my mother so i know they do have them there uh, <laughs> so you know squeezing mm. a juice of a lime or a lemon in your water and drinking that it actually keeps you hydrated longer and it actually helps your body absorb the water better uh, and of course it's full of vitamin c it's amazing and the water tastes delicious i'm a big one uh, you know just like you i don't believe that you know having juice and all is just putting sugar in your body for no reason if yeah. even if 
fresh juice, whatever. It's sugar, okay? <laughs> so mm. rather than that, like my son would want something, I would give him water with lime juice in it, lemon juice in it. That's amazing. Right. Other than that, try to eat as much raw stuff as you can. Mm. And also Unpackaged. Eat, absolutely. Eat it as it mm. comes in its A-grade form. You know, A-grade is mm. as natural as it can, it can be. Mm. Um, mm. I think that's a big one. And also eat when you're hungry. Don't eat uh, looking at a clock. Mindlessly. And, yeah. Uh, and also, I believe that be, be a little like the birds. Don't eat after the sun goes down. I really think that that's very important. <laughs> so, mm. you know, I, you never see birds. I, I have a big bird bath outside, which I keep filling with bird food. But you'll never see a bird after sundown. Uh, in fact, even now, it's yeah. not sundown yet. But, you know, so why? what are we doing? We're just constantly eating. Khai ja rahe, so, khai ja rahe. <laughs> khai ja. Mm, mindless so eating. The more we eat, it's not going to give us energy. Mm. It's actually going to make you lazy. So just, yeah. you know, eating well enough. Said. Uh, yeah, I think that, that's a big one. Drink more water <laughs> and just eat, eat. Eat whatever nourishes your body and enjoy your food. I believe in eating by the color also, by the way. Even when I make mm. a lunchbox for my son, I would put, uh, you know, as many colors as I can in it. Vegetables, fruits, mm. a lot of color in it. So I think that's for all of us. That's important for all of us. Interesting. Um, <clears throat> really enlightening, Amna. I think this is, uh, it's been such a... <laughs> enlightening experience you know you know people with you know enlightened soul they they radiate energy You're i can sense it kind. you know yeah yeah no so uh are we ready for the the breath work yes i'm ready i'm sitting straight yeah i fixed my chair I'm okay so chair right <laughs> any suggestions you want to you want to make uh as i'm sitting down i you know i'm, I'm fine yeah so you could be sitting on a chair you could be sitting right. on the floor. You can sit with your legs crossed. If you are a beginner and you don't know how to sit um, with your back straight, you can put maybe a yoga block under, you know, uh, under your right. feet and sit on that. Or you could maybe put a big book or two cushions. Uh, that really helps if you're sitting on the floor with your legs crossed. You can lean against a wall. You know, that's also fine. Make sure your spine okay. is against the wall and you're sitting with your back straight. So always sit right. with the straight back. If you get tired, just, you know, you start slouching, come back. So mm. You can keep correcting yourself. There is no hard and fast rule. It's, it's all, okay. all right. Uh, keep doing it till you get it perfect. So I want everyone to sit with the back straight. You could be sitting on a chair. Eyes could be closed or in a soft gaze. You could just be, you could lower your gaze so that your mind is just focused on a point, looking into nothingness. So as soon as you're comfortable, just become conscious of your breath. So inhaling through the nose, imagine as if your breath is, you're pulling it up all the way and down your throat passage through your spine. And your breath is going to go all the way down into your tailbone, into the earth. And then you pull it up again as you breathe in. Take it all the way up through your spine till it, it touches the top of your head. So while I'm saying that, maybe give your breath a color. Imagine that your breath has a color. So when it moves up and down your body, you can actually visualize your breath as something tangible. Inhaling, breath rises all the way up to the top of your head. Exhaling, let it flow down, maybe like water. Inhale again, slowly lifting up, thinking of air energy rising up slowly 
as your breath touches the top of your head and exhaling as your breath starts flowing down through your spine all the way down to your tailbone into the earth Sitting with your palms facing up, your fingertips could be touching or apart. Take another deep breath in. Breath goes all the way up to the top of your head. Hold it there for a moment now. And exhale as you slowly let it glide down through your spine. down to your tailbone. Just bring your chin to your collarbone, tilting your chin down. You can bring your hands together in front of your heart. Just coming back to your soft breath. I always like to touch my fingertips to my forehead, just between my brow. And bringing your thumbs to your third eye center, lifting up. And bringing your hands back to your heart center. Thank you, everyone. I'm about to fall asleep. <laughs> that means you are you did a great job <laughs> seriously i am i think uh, <laughs> i think it's 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 wonderful you know and to be honest i could just i was trying to just process what you were saying or uh, i don't know iski kaifiyat thi ki you know mera dimag jo na wo wo sun ho raha tha and i was going into like a zone and i was like no 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 wait i'm on a live session i can't fall asleep so literally uh, so I, i can that's, uh, that's the idea that and i and i was teaching and i'm conscious that i'm here but exactly what you said my brain has already gone into a place where i don't want to talk i want to be quiet because it's amazing so i think we should do wow. this more we should just come and yeah. breathe together <laughs> it's brilliant it's brilliant i i i feel you know it, i i think you just did it for like 2 minutes and you know i feel like like a thoda sa pressure on my shoulders tight there i like i'm walk shock karke aaya hu but it's amazing <laughs> amna thank you so much uh, it's been thank such you. an enlightening experience uh, uh, i i i think it's uh, you know we all uh need this so much uh because zindagi uh, to be honest itni mushkil ho gayi hai ke agar hum wo you know aapka jo self care wala jo jo the concept hai if we don't take care of ourselves then we risk going making our lives and our relationships from bad to worse yeah. and i really want to underline that point because mere andar sirf agar negativity hai तो मैं सिचुएशन को खराब ही करूंगा यू नो दिस एग्रेशन दिस लेग पुलिंग दिस यू नो ऑल ऑफ दिस इज कमिंग फ्रॉम अ बैड प्लेस एंड वी डोंट रियलाइज इट आमना के हम यू नो वी मेकिंग थिंग्स वर्स सो एंड आई थिंक वी वर्क ऑन आर से till the day we are you know moving to another earth, lifetime yeah. or another yeah. realm whatever so i think that um a it's very important to be conscious again consciousness you know whatever we do we do it with consciousness um whether it's breathing exercising eating uh having a conversation with somebody saying something to someone a lot of things i have to say this because you know they say a lot of things are uh, you know when you saying something is it needed do you have you know do you have to say mm. something like we we are so quick in saying something like you know uh, related to your uh, field also 
like you were saying the minute you are lagging and you're not looking that well people will say oh tum moti ho gayi ho ya tum udaas lag rahi ho ya tum run down lag rahi why don't we you know i believe that i would go out and say to random people that i love what you're wearing or you're looking so amazing or you know <laughs> anything that you like about someone because there's so many things mm. that one has to appreciate and i think living amongst nature and appreciating natural whether it's food or whether it's a plant or whether it's grass or whether it's a tree teaches you how to stay positive stay with all things natural that's my mantra and i would just that's the best that i can pass on to anybody and the other one is that if there is a negative thought you counter it with two positive thoughts you know i think that's something that we can all brilliant keep with us brilliant. it's a yeah. good lesson someone gave me so i'd like to pass it on yeah yeah makes a lot of sense amna thank you so much uh, thank you, I, you know pleasure. i i we we could go on and on but obviously you know uh, maybe some other time and uh, you know uh, thank you uh, it's an honor ki aapne time nikala hai and uh, i know i think you have a class as well and i think we are overstepping or something so i i want to close the session uh, should i say thank you <laughs> once again thank you and uh, i i hope the audience uh, we all i think we learned so much and isko practice mein lagane ki zarurat hai we need to put this into practice guys thank you so much for being with us and uh, and jo aapne suna hai usko jab tak aap practice nahi karenge sunne ki had tak kafi nahi hai you need to put it into practice for it to work uh, i'm not take care day, have a great day. day yeah thank yeah. you so much it, thank you take care take care bye bye bye